Thank you, everyone, for joining our broadcast. I think we'll kick things off here. I was Jason King with uh, Copley Consulting Group. Uh, to start, start things off, I'm going to uh, hand things over to my colleague, Holly Mason, to uh, get things going. OK. Thanks, Jason. Um, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining our webinar today <clears throat> on pr uh, Profit Corporate Performance Management, or CPM. Um, most of you probably know Copley became a Profix reseller this year, and we're really excited to have this world-class solution available as a complementary solution to the Infor Cloud Suite or Sightline. So I would like to introduce Chris Porter from Profix, who will take you through some slides as well as jump into the software to explain all that Profix offers. Um, as a note, we are recording the session today. Um, so I think, um, Chris, I'm going to turn it over to you. Perfect. Thanks, Holly, and uh, thanks, Jason. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Chris Porter. I'm the Strategic Partner Manager here at Profix, uh, and we work really closely with uh, the team at Copley. Um, as Holly uh, mentioned, we're going to kind of walk through some initial slides to really just educate people on what is corporate performance management, um, and then we're going to dive right into the software. So. Okay, so a little bit about Profix. Who are we? Um, well, Profix has been in business for a little over 31 years. Uh, we're a Canadian company. We're based out of Toronto, Canada, but we do have operations uh, globally all over the, the uh, United States and uh, overseas as well. Uh, Profix has a little over 3,000 customers now in 100 countries. And I think one of the main themes and one of the, the interesting parts about our company is that we've always tried to create software for finance professionals, knowing that they are the ones not just using it, but also to administer it, in that not every piece of software has to be something that IT needs to be supporting day in and day out. Um, finally, Profix has always been very highly recognized by industry analysts and very highly regarded in the market as a staple in the corporate performance management uh, arena. So what is corporate performance management? Well, I think kind of the best way to describe anything when you ask a question of, well, what is this software? I think really the best way to describe it is to characterize the problems that it solves and the solutions that it delivers. So on that note, I think at the end of the day, what Profix really does is it fixes this. It fixes the idea that you have all these different data sources, which then you dump into Excel, and through the illusion of formulas and macros and things that inevitably will break and are unsustainable, you think that you're, you know, you're automating data. And uh, at the end of the day, this is just not feasible. As businesses continue to grow and operate at a very rapid pace, they cannot be tied down and slowed down by technology that delivers reporting and analytics and planning and forecasting. Those elements of their business and the data behind it is really just as important as anything else in the business. And so Excel spreadsheets are obviously, as I said, error prone, but they don't let people collaborate. They don't let people work within the data. They're just consuming the data as people deliver it to them. If they need to look at data in a different way, if they need to slice and dice it, that inevitably means I have to go back to the person or the people that created that report and have access to the data and have the technological know-how to create me a new slice of it, to create me a new version of it. Um, additionally, with Excel, nothing is centralized. Everything is built in an individual, compartmentalized way in the sense that you put data into a template, into a report, and, and at the end of the day, there's no control, there's no auditability that you're building it the right way, that you're analyzing the data the right way. Uh, and so just the same goes with budgeting. Excel spreadsheets, in the time that it takes people to create a budget template or a set of budget templates, then send them out, then collect them, consolidate them, fix all the errors, fix all the things that people deleted. Um, all of that is what makes, you know, using spreadsheets for budgeting, just as we do with reporting, um, just not sustainable. And ultimately costs organizations uh, a lot of time and money. However, it doesn't have to be this way. So how does Profix do it? How does Profix fix this problem? Well, uh, I think one of the key themes of Profix is centralization. We talked about with Excel, it's not a solution that has the ability to centralize 
the business definitions. In other words, how do you roll up your P&L? How do you roll up your companies? How do you consolidate those companies? Um, how do you group your products and your customers? With Profix, we centralize all of those rules and those hierarchies in a single place. So rule number one of how we fix decentralization is just that. So we centralize everything so that there's consistency and there's one version of the truth. Uh, we connect to all those great same ERP systems, those data sets um, that organizations have, and then we bring it into our solution to make people enabled to access it in an easy way, build reports in an easy way, and use that data for, for forecasting and budgeting their organization. Once the data is then brought in, you can then access it in any number of ways. So you can access it through our web-based browser, um, which is sort of the top right there, the top two icons, the uh, iPad and the, and the laptop. Um, but also you can access it on any Microsoft Office product. Um, and then the final thing that I want to talk about in the top right corner is that with all of the data you bring into Profix, you can not only see the sort of summary level information, but you can also have a look at the transactional data as well. So therefore, eliminating the need for users to have to jump in and out of different systems. So if you're looking at a variance report and you want to know the transactions that made up that actual, no problem. You just right click and you can take a look at and then we'll take a look at that in a little bit. So that's kind of a characterization, I would say, of the problem that we solve and how we solve it. But more broadly, what does Profix do? Well, Profix does the complete suite of CPM functionality. This includes everything from budgeting, planning, and forecasting to reporting and analytics, as well as multi-company consolidation, and then workflow and data automation. If we dive into budgeting and planning, what does that include? Well, that includes not just budgeting and planning your expenses and your personnel and your P&L, but it also includes planning and budgeting your sales. Some of the most common models that we build with Sightline customers are detailed sales models that allow you to look at data at a SKU level, at a customer level, at a site level, and actually analyze your sales, analyze your inventory, but also plan at that level as well so that you're feeding the data back to the P&L, back to the balance sheet and the cash flow. On the topic of reporting and analytics, which goes very hand in hand with budgeting and forecasting, Profix has completely self-service and interactive dashboards, ad hoc reporting to uh, service those people that want to look at, a look at the data in another way. So in other words, you give them a report and they say, I want to see my sites in the columns. I don't want to see departments or something, or I don't want to see months. I want to see my sites. They can easily just click, drag, and get what they want. So therefore, eliminating that waiting period and removing the onus from people who would otherwise have to create that for them. One of the great features from a month-end perspective is automated report distribution, which we'll show in a little bit as well. So this is something that I think people really greatly enjoy because it means that the reports will be refreshed as with our integration to SiteLine, they get refreshed whenever you need it and the data can get right out the door and into people's inboxes. The last two I kind of talked about already. Moving on to consolidations. Well, for a lot of companies, especially SiteLine customers who are multi-site, multi-company, this is in, uh, in, in particular very important. So this is where you might need to consolidate and convert multi-currency. So multiple currencies for different customers or different companies. Uh, you may need to report your intercompany eliminations. As well, you can build in your consolidation rules around joint ventures and minority interests. So perhaps you own 50% of another company, you bring the data into Profix, and Profix takes that into account automatically. Um, the other element of that is, well, what if we acquire another business? Uh, with Profix, we don't just integrate to SiteLine. As you saw a little earlier, we integrate to many different systems. And so for a lot of companies, Profix is great for mergers and acquisitions where they need to bring in financial data from other ERP systems, other GLs, and at the end of the day, consolidate it back into our system. So with our depth of integration and our amount of out-of-the-box uh, integration uh, tools, you can do that. And then lastly, workflow and automation. I think workflow is really key because we talked about a little bit earlier the idea that with Excel, when it comes to budgeting, you have to create these templates, 
you have to send them out and then somehow go through an approval process. You have to collect them back through email and you can't monitor them. You can't drive accountability. You can't automate the distribution process. You have to do all of that manually. And so workflow is really key because it automates the whole distribution, collection, approval process. All of that is literally just to start it and it just manages itself. So it's quite nice in that regard. Uh, also, from a reporting perspective, uh, reporting your workflow and your month-end process, building that into a repeatable, follow, uh, trackable process is really key. And then lastly, data automation. So with our integration capabilities, we do direct data integration, and that allows organizations to refresh the data whenever they need to. So what is the Profix difference? Well, the Profix difference is really that Profix is a complete CPM solution where you get all of the functionality from day one. So you don't have to worry about, well, what if I need reporting tomorrow or down the road? It'll be there. You don't have to buy additional modules. Additionally, it is a truly finance-owned application. So the people that are administering it and using it every single day are finance folks. IT doesn't have to get involved, and that's usually music to their ears. And lastly, we have multiple deployment options. So I'm going to show you Profix today, and it's a web-based application regardless of whether you deploy it on your premises or in the cloud. It's the same product, and you can match it to whatever your IT infrastructure strategy is. So who uses Profix? Well, many customers use Profix, and this slide really is you know, just a really great representation of the cross verticals and also the cross sizes that we work with, the companies that are you know, 15 to 20 million all the way up to multi-billion dollar businesses that are on this slide here. And I think that's a really good you know, thing to think about, that this is a product that you will grow with, not grow out of, and that companies you know, maybe bigger than you today or even companies the same size as you today are all using Profix, and that's really, I think, refreshing to hear. Many of those customers use Cloud Suite Industrial or SiteLime, and these are just some of those logos uh, with some of these customers working with Profix for many, many years. I just wanted to kind of briefly, before we dive into the demo, I think give some perspective from a customer. Um, so Steve Anderson is the controller over at Space Saver. Space Saver is a really cool business, interesting business, um, building um, uh, space optimization solutions for the home and the business. Um, so with Steve, his quote, you know, what he said for a lot of the time was that they analyze how much inventory they need to capitalize and how much cost they should have. So he said, we analyze how much cost we should have capitalized in inventory. The report is completely automated now with Profix. It used to take four hours. They can now book that entry within five minutes, and it's accurate. And I think that's really key, the fact that he said it's accurate. Um, CPM software from Profix makes these type of improvements very easy. And so Steve and his company, they do full budget act versus actual analysis. They do product mix analysis. They do pricing discount analysis, inventory, labor, and profitability analysis as well. So they're really maximizing the solution and using it in some really cool ways. Uh, the other customer I wanted to briefly talk about is uh, Brock Green Systems. Um, more specifically, Denise Feast, who is their divisional controller. Denise has actually worked at uh, four different companies, all of where she's implemented Profix. And so truly when she says prof using Profix software has enabled me and my team to become more valuable resources to other departments at Brock, uh, I think she can truly say that in every scenario, every company that she's worked at. Um, for example, Denise and her team provide complete visibility into the quote, order, and shipment cycle, and they've built dashboards that track the company's performance for executive management. Um, now, these are just some of the things that Denise has put together at Brock, but um, you know, they're doing some really cool, really inventive things with our solution to deliver reporting and analytics and planning for all areas of the business. So without further ado, let's dive into the software. So I'm going to first go through some dashboard and reporting, uh, and then some consolidation and report distribution, and then we'll go into some budgeting and planning as well. Okay, fantastic. So now we're in the software, we're ready to go. 
So when you dive into Profix, as we said, Profix is a completely web-based experience, so you don't have to have any prerequisites even if you're installing this on your own server. Um, and so when users log in, not only does every user have their own security, meaning if I'm logged in as Alfred Perry, which I am at this moment, and I'm looking at a dashboard, Alfred is the head of marketing. So therefore, Alfred would only see the departments that he has access to, which are marketing related. And so that's first and foremost. And I think that's actually an important thing to stress, that having a database-driven application like Profix, where users have security, is really important because when every user logs in and they look at a report or they receive a report in their inbox, it's already tailored to their permissions. And that is not extra work for the people that create these reports. You can truly create standardized reporting for your organization and then allow the system to you know, get rid of the data that certain people shouldn't see. And that in and of itself is a huge win. That's actually a big time saver for people that they don't have to create data specific reports with specific security. Um, Profix takes care of all of that. So as we log in here, a uh, couple of you know very quick things that we want to kind of talk about here is that the data within these reports, is in these dashboards, is completely interactive. And more importantly, every single dashboard and every home screen, which is, that, which is what we're looking at, we're looking at the home screen, is completely customized to that user. So therefore, not only is the security there, but also the experience and the charts and the dashboards and everything that they see is specifically because they care about it. So this dashboard here would be a department, department manager dashboard. You could create one for sales. You could create one for executives, kind of like Denise mentioned in her quote. So right then and there, I've then gone from a quarterly level at the total GNA, and I've now gone down to the individual months, and I've gone down to the individual accounts in the gen, in the uh, GNA cost category. So the reports, the dashboards are completely uh, fully interactive. Um, additionally, there's lots of different types of dashboards and charts you can put together, but this is really only the beginning. This is only the start that people can go and look at data and view view information. So from here. I can right click on the data and I can hit this little link button, which will then take me from a, a dashboard level down to a report. And so within the report, you can then have a look at all of the data in a grid format. And with all reports and profits, you can cycle through all of the other fields that you have brought in from SiteLine. So I can cycle between different unit codes, different site codes, all of the different types, different months. And the beauty of this is, is that this information is connected to site lines. So when I look at actual versus plan and I see there's a variance, um, with the Profix workflow, you can actually create a workflow for variance reviews where my boss can come in and say, hey, what happened here? What's going on with this, with this expense? And I need you to explain it. So, what we are able to do as an end user is really analyze the data and slice and dice it in a number of different ways. And so what we're able to do here is we could cycle through the different departments or as a user, I can right click on the report and I can go to analyze. Analyze will then take that report and bring it into our free form ad hoc reporting tool, which would then let, let me analyze it further and really figure out more information around maybe it was one travel account. Maybe it was specifically one of my departments. And so what I'm able to do here is to drill into the travel cost hierarchy and in, into here. And then if I wanted to, I could say, okay, well, a lot of that was based on airfare. So let's drill into airfare. So what we could do is take our departments, drag them onto airfare, and then now we can see, okay, this is starting to all make a lot more sense now. I know what's going on. And so from here, we can even go a step further and drill into the underlying transactions that are making up that variant, so directly into SightLine. And so this is where we can then sort our data and say, I'd like to descend it. I'd like to take a look at maybe the, the top value, the total, you know, what's the biggest expense. So pretty clear here, there's an outlier. I could then have a look at that invoice. All right, $15,000 invoice, that checks out. And we could save it down to our uh, desktop. 
And now that we've saved it, we can then go back and we can, and we can maybe provide that as a response to our manager's question around, hey, what happened here? What's going on? So we could come back to this report and we could say, I'd like to view the comments and I'm going to add a new comment saying, um, John took an unbudgeted trip. And then we will attach that invoice and add it to the string of comments. So you can have a nice complete full list of, you know, what happened, a dialogue, that type of thing. It's really quite nice in that regard. And in addition to the comments being there and in Profix, they're actually stored in the system. So quite literally, the next time you build a report and this value, this variance shows up, it will then go over to that report as well. No longer do you need to spend time searching for variances, searching for commentary, going back into different reports. It's all stored within the system, which is huge, which is great. So that's a little bit on some of the reporting elements of Profix. You know, this is a variance report. But I think what Profix really offers is a complete suite of reporting capabilities. So um, I'm going to jump into a what we call an integrated financial statement where we're showing the balance sheet, we're showing the cash flow, we're showing the income statement. And again, from here, we can send the users on a journey and we can say, all right, we're just giving you one month of the income statement. If you'd like, you can right click and you can open up all of the months of the income statement. So 12 months worth of the P&L as well. And so in this level, you know, we're able to keep analyzing the data going from point to point. And because our system is a hierarchy-based application, naturally the, con the data consolidates itself. It naturally is always rolling up, so to speak. And so that's what really makes Profix an excellent consolidations tool. It makes it an excellent um, just data aggregation tool by in the fact that it is natively and constantly consolidating the data against that centralized hierarchy. So that's an example of, you know, obviously a income statement. You know, we could jump into our balance sheet, into our cash flow. We could even jump into our inventory and DSO and DPO. And so you're able to really navigate the data and look at the data in the way that you want to naturally go about looking at it. So naturally, if someone sees days in inventory and they want to know more about it, they would naturally be able to right click and go to that next more level of detail. And so it's really about giving people a very intuitive, very easy to use tool that guides them in the way that their mind thinks. And additionally, it's also all about giving them a tool that when they want to do further analysis and they want to slice and dice the data, um, they're able to do that as well. So it's the whole shift in responsibilities where people are not just relying on one or two people to produce all of these ad hoc reports, but now they can do it themselves and they can do it anywhere, anytime, on any device. All right, so that's a little bit on some of the reporting aspects of Profix and some of the consolidation elements as well. What I'd like to kind of shift gears into is more on the, the budgeting and the forecasting side of our application. So as I do this, I'm going to jump into what we call Workflow Manager. Workflow, as we talked about, is that amazing tool that's going to help eliminate the need to send templates out to people through email, to have to collect them, to consolidate them, to send them to their managers for approval, all of that. So the Workflow really allows you to build that flow and that process around saying, okay, first step, we're going to review historic data. Then we start our OPEX personnel sales and CAPEX budgets. Then we do revenue optimization. Then we do allocations. And so it just allows you to build those process flows such that when review historic data is done and we've checked that off, we then immediately move into the next step. So it really automates that process. If you go into the individual sections, if you will, of the budget, uh, you know, when you actually take a look at the uh, tasks, this is where you then get into the individual users who fill out each of the budgets. So every task within each section would have a template that someone would fill out. They would have an owner. They'd have a, an approver or perhaps a, a multiple approvers. And so instantly when this task goes out, Alfred gets an email saying, this is started. You need to come into the system to complete your task. 
And then from there, Alfred will then submit it and it'll go to his or her manager and so on and so forth. I think that's a really key element of how we can help automate a lot of the manual processes around budgeting. So as an end user, how do I experience this? Well, I experience it that I come into Profix. In addition to seeing all these pretty charts and dashboards, I also have my tasks. And as we saw earlier, you will also get an email notification saying you have a budget task, you have something to, to complete. Uh, you can also set up reminders there too. So if something's close to a deadline, maybe three or four days before the deadline, you haven't submitted it yet, Profix will remind you. So it does a lot of the sort of poking or nagging and stuff that you don't like doing yourself. So now as a user, I'm going to come in and I'm going to start to fill out my OPEX budget. Okay. So when we open this up, just like from our home screen, we just see our departments. We only see marketing uh, followed by marketing total. Uh, we also have the ability to do a lot of really great what if scenarios or multiple versions. You can have as many as you'd like. And uh, we're going to kind of go into that in a little bit. But first and foremost, I kind of want to walk you through some of the ways that our clients would go about doing their budget and profits. And I think this is where our solution can really take it to the next level to make doing your budget faster, but also more accurately. So first and foremost, obviously you see here we have our forecast, our nine plus three. So it gives us an idea of you know, where are we trending towards the end of the year so we have an annualized number to then budget for. In this case, I've already pre-populated this user's budget template. So Alfred's already got a baseline budget where he would then work off of. We could also in a second look at a sort of a zero-based budget as well. But in this case, if we're going through our budget and we're planning things out, you know, and perhaps I want to budget um, you know, $50,000 for insurance. I don't want to do it by month. Of course you could do that, but I'd like to just put in a lump sum amount for the year. When you do that, Profix then opens up four native sort of ready to go spreading or allocation options, if you will. And this is where you could say, I want to take that $50,000 and allocate it evenly across every month that we're budgeting for. This could be like 12 months that I'm budgeting or three months, whatever the, the time range is. We could also spread it based on the existing data, so the information that's already in our baseline budget. The third option, which is very commonly used with our customers who have seasonality to their business, this is where you could add in a seasonality factor. So you could pre-weight each of the months um, so that maybe certain expenses or certain billings or revenue match that seasonality nicely. But the fourth and final, I think, most compelling option is really where you can utilize the data from Sightline that you've brought into Profix, and you can say, okay, well, I would like to allocate this information based on, and then you could choose what you want to sp spread it based on. So I could spread it based on gross sales, or perhaps I want to spread it based on unit production forecasts. So how many units are we going to forecast, or headcount, or full-time equivalents or production line utilization. Any data that you bring into Profix, you can use, not just for reporting, but you can also use it for budgeting and forecasting as well. So I think this is a really compelling option. It's a really compelling way to say, well, when we're budgeting these costs, do they correlate to something else? And that's a really good way that we help our clients and our partners help our clients really figure out how to get a more accurate budget, which is really saying how much of these costs correlate to sales or something like that. So in this case, though, I'm just going to simply choose prior year actuals, which I've already gone ahead and done here. So if I click OK, what Profix is going to do is it's going to go and get those prior year actuals. It's going to figure out, like, hey, how much money did we spend in insurance last year and basically weight all of this based on insurance spend, so exactly what were our actuals. And the beauty of this is, unlike Excel, this data does not have to be preloaded into this template at all. It's in Profix, therefore it's available. Okay, So that's kind of avenue number one. Um, other way that a lot of our clients will look at their budgets is to say, okay, it's great, yes, you put some dollar values in here, and you maybe put a piece of commentary, uh, but we maybe also want people to build up their budget. We want them to actually, you know, say exactly what trips are you going on, um, what conferences are you going to, 
so in that case, what you're able to do is centrally in the system tell everybody that if you're going to budget airfare dollars for the year or any account for that matter, you could force them to then provide line item details, so to say, tell me exactly what trips you're going to go on. So this is me now listing out every one of the trips, line by line, justification, dollar values, all of that good stuff. And so we're listing all that information out. And then that way, think forward, when we're looking at actuals, we could actually compare exactly the trips that I budgeted to exactly the transactions that came into the GL. So it's a really nice way of driving accountability. And for certain costs, where maybe there's a little bit more control or justification needed, the line of them details does a really great job in supporting that. So we're going to close out of here. Now, the other way that I think is very compelling, this is the idea that certain costs or certain areas of our business, we don't just budget them uh, at the general ledger or at the sort of P&L level. Um, two really common examples that come to mind are personnel expenses, so payroll, as well as uh, sales and CapEx, more so sales. But in the case of that sales organization who's planning out quantities and prices and costs of goods sold at the product and the customer level, Profix really allows organizations to bring that data into our system, plan at that level, but as you'll see in a second, drive that data back up to the P&L and the appropriate cost codes and revenue codes that makes sense for that data. So in this case, I can't budget payroll at this level. I actually have to go into a personnel planning task, which leads me into a specific module in the system built for payroll planning. And within here, now this data, which is brought in from the payroll system, is budgeting earnings, benefits, taxes, annual increases, discretionary spending, could be commissions, whatever it is. It's budgeting at this level, a very detailed level, going down to the employees. And the beauty of this is, is that if I make changes, perhaps these two interns are going to start in April. If I make changes to this information, it actually loads it back into my budget template, which effectively is loading it back into my P&L. So if I make this start change, I'll calculate it, so I'll recalculate the earnings, I'll recalculate their prorated benefits, all of that kind of good stuff. In the case of an intern, it automatically knows this person doesn't get benefits. Uh, maybe if they're hourly, they have different comp structures. It knows all of those rules and how to act. But now, at the end of the day, we can take that information and we can send it back to our finance team who's managing the overall P&L balance sheet cash flow forecast. And we come back to here. And you'll see I made a couple of changes to my headcount or my hiring plan. So we should see changes affected here in Q1. Perfect. So essentially what this is doing is really allowing the organization to plan in the way that matters to them. So right then and there, I just budgeted payroll. The same could be done for revenue. So you want to budget revenue and forecast revenue at the product level, if you will. No problem. You can definitely do that. So you could budget and you could forecast all of this information at the product level, at the customer level, allowing your sales organization to use Profix as well, and then ultimately you know, bring that data together and send it back to finance whenever they need to. So eliminating that whole kind of consolidation uh, process that often happens. All right, so the next thing I kind of want to go through is the idea that for a lot of organizations, this style of planning is a big reason why budgeting is kind of a hard thing to get people to do. It's because it's time consuming to go through cell by cell. It's time consuming to, to go line by line. What Profix allows the companies to do is to really budget in the way that you think. So budget in the way that you think, meaning, okay, well, let's create another version. It's called a what-if version. And say, all right, let's just take last year's actuals and increase all those expenses by 5%. What happens? What's the result? 
or for sales it's saying let's take all of these SKUs, all of these products that we budget for and increase the price for everything that we sell to this customer by 2%. So rather than sitting here and doing the math and going into the template, Profix has developed a really powerful, really easy to use forecasting wizard which allows you to go through those parameters pretty quickly and pretty easily. And so this is coming something called InfoFlex. So it's going to walk me through <clears throat> all of the different parameters to build my forecast. So it's first going to ask me, in this case, if I'm budgeting for my OPEX, it's going to ask me, what accounts do you want to bring in? So what accounts do you want to budget for? So I'm going to choose all of my OPEX accounts, and I can really easily just navigate this. And rather than clicking on each one of them one by one, I can right click on the total OPEX and choose LEAF, which ultimately then brings out all of the OPEX accounts. <clears throat> so I click OK. Next, I'm going to choose my department, which I've done. I'm going to choose the currency. So that's everything, that's going to, that's everything that I'm going to be budgeting for. Um, the next step is to say, what's my source of my budget? So what's the baseline that I'm going to base my projection off of? In this case, it's actuals from 2017. And next, we're going to copy it to plan two for 2018. Okay? So that's the version that we're working on. That's our what if version, if you will. And then it's going to ask me, all right, well, what do you want to do with that data? Do you want to just keep it the same? So literally just copy last year's actuals and make that my budget? No, in this case, I'm going to increase all of those costs by 5% and see what happens. I'm not stuck to it, but I'd like to at least see what happens, see what the result is. So now that I've done that, I could come back to my template and refresh my template and there we go. Now all of those data points have increased themselves 5% from the previous year and I can see the results. I can see what the total is <coughs> year over year. So if I wanted to keep going back and forth or maybe making a couple of different versions, so maybe make it 2%, and you can get very detailed. You could say, you know, just for these cost types or maybe from a sales perspective, just for these products or just for this customer, this InfoFlex wizard really accelerates the planning cycle because it ultimately means you don't need to sit there if you don't want to, to budget it line by line, account by account. So it's very useful, it's very helpful in that regard, and you can use it for pretty much any area of, of your budgeting. So once you've done, if you're completed, you're ready to go, you can hit submit and you can say, um, take a look, plan two is an increase 5% from 2017. So you click yes, you submit it, it then immediately sends an email to the approver. The approver gets that email and says, okay, I now have to come into the system and I need to approve that budget or reject it or send it back and that sort of thing. It basically you know, knows where to go next, which is fantastic because it means now that person doesn't have to worry about it. It's waiting. It's, it's been submitted. You know, it's, we're ready to go type of thing. So we're finished. We finished that task. So at the end of the day, it's really automating that whole process that otherwise would have to have been manually done by somebody. Therefore, kind of giving them a lot of time back, a lot of opportunity to do further analysis. Now, the final thing I want to talk about, which I mentioned earlier, is, okay, now we have, we've, we've done a bunch of reporting, we've done a bunch of budgeting. It's great that people could come into the system, but a very common deliverable for finance is report packages. These are common for ownership, for the board, maybe for groups of people in the company. Um, so at the end of the day, now what we could do is we could take a package of reports, so everything that we just did, all of those reports, package them up, add in some narratives so that people know, you know, why was there a variance on this. You can put comments, you can put those next to the data, and you send them out to a distribution list of users. And because every user that receives it has a profile of in profits that says what data they have access to and what they don't, that package will be different for each person who receives it. 
It can be distributed in really much any kind of format that you'd like. And most importantly, it be, can be completely automated. So everything in the process automation center of Profix, everything from importing data to doing your currency conversion to doing calculations and report binder distribution, all can be scheduled and automated. So you can send it to people's inboxes in Excel, PDF, PowerPoint, or Word. So whatever file, whatever kind of format they'd like. And like I said, you could schedule it. So literally you could say, let's refresh the data and then distribute these reports, get them right to people's inboxes every Monday at 9 a.m. And then when they open them up, there we go. They have exactly what they want to see. So we have our title page. Moving down from the title page, we have our narrative. And then we start to get into the individual reports, keeping in mind that we only should see what we should see. In this case, I'm showing you guys kind of everything, just so you can see all the different reports that are included in here, including reports maybe that don't have revenue, so the rows are eliminated. Um, moving into cash flow statements, very high-level balance sheets, and even some sales reporting, again, coming from that common sales model that we build for Sightline clients, bringing in sales from a product level and customer level, um, as well as some dashboarding as well. So that's a really great win. That's a really great solution for our customers to be able to eliminate that sort of packaging up of reports. Because with our integration to Sightline, we're not just refreshing data, we're also bringing in new additions to the GL, new accounts, departments, um, site codes for our sales. You bring in new customer and product codes. And because all of that is getting also brought in, all of your reports become completely maintenance-free. So in other words, if a new account gets added and a report needs that account, Profix has the intelligence to know, yes, this is a new account loaded into this report. So that's why so, so many of our customers are able to complete their month-end reporting with Profix incredibly fast because they're not having to worry about, I need to add a row, I need to add a column. Profix is doing all of that for you and providing you notifications when things need to be uh, checked and balanced and things like that. Um, with that, I think we will uh, close the webinar and uh, thank everyone for their time today and for their attendance. And um, thank you, Chris, for, uh, for a great overview. Yep. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Good afternoon. Appreciate you joining. Bye-bye.